You want to know what's holding you back from making real progress in your life. It it is not. Look, I even this is how passionate about I am about this, y'all. I know this might be a little goofy. Oh wait, is it backwards? Curse you! No, it's good. Oh, no, it's okay, good. good. It's it's backwards to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It's not purpose. So many people are focused on finding their purpose. I'm like, stop doing that. Stop searching for your purpose. Now, purpose is good. I'm not knocking it, but this is not what you need to be looking for. Mindset. Mindset is great. Mindset is critical, but it is not the root cause. This is also a symptom. Why is your mindset off? I'm telling you, it is this. It is clarity. Let me explain why. Let me, because I want you guys to understand why I'm talking the way I'm talking. I want to, I want you to think about this for yourself. What is confusion costing you? Mm -hmm. Think about this in different areas of your life. Indecision. Insecurity. Lack of consistency, inconsistency. What do I mean when I say those things? Indecision. <laughs> You're not quite sure... You have so many, you're multi-passionate, you're multi-disciplined, you're multi-talented. Where in the world should you put your time, energy, and resources? Because you don't want to do the wrong thing. You don't want to invest your time, your money, your energy, your reputation into the wrong thing. So what do we do? We kind of just float. Ooh. Never quite feeling satisfied, but never quite so dissatisfied that we get disgusted. I'm here to probably disgust you a little bit on this tip. What is, um, what is, what was the other one that I said? Uh, in, uh, insecurity. I was at a conference today, guys. You know the question that's looming here. The question that everybody wants to ask you, these five cute little words that people think they're doing you a favor when they ask you. Anybody know what that is? So, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. what do you do? So, what do you do? And you just want to say, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're tired of answering that question. It's not because it's a bad question. They have good intentions. But here's the thing. Probably one or two things. You don't like what you do. Or even worse, you don't know what you do. So what you would rather do is hide. You know, I don't, I don't really like what I do. I don't, that's not what I want to be known for. I don't really want to share it. Or... You know what? I'm still trying to figure out what I do. I think I have an idea of what I do, but I don't really know how to explain it. Or do you have any ideas? Because I'm looking for suggestions. <laughs> Third one, inconsistency. You stop, you go. You get inspired, you fall off. All these different things. You want to start the business, you don't start the business. You're going to write the book, then you don't start the book. You're going to go do podcasts, then you don't do the podcast. You start the podcast and you stop the podcast. All these different things happen from a lack of uh, from confusion what is confusion costing you i want you to see this in different scenarios imagine you're being interviewed for a job what's another question that they love to ask so tell me about yourself sir if you i hate that question that's the most vague question ever but you know they're going to say it because they want to hear how prepared are you how clear are you about this position now imagine that you probably you probably gotten asked this question if you've applied for a job anytime soon uh anytime recently well you know I, i'm this type of person i'm a detailed oriented individual and i like to make progress and work with teams and collaborate and you know all you hit all the key buzzwords and all this stuff and i enjoy spending time with my family in fact i like to go play basketball every once in a while blah 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 Imagine this, though. They say, hey, what do you do? And you say, well, you know, first off, I want to share with you why I came to this job position today and applied. When I was in school, I realized that the most rare thing that I was seeing was clarity. 
And clarity had become something that was rare when I believed that clarity is something that should be common. And my biggest why in my life is the, the reason why I do all things I do is because I want to live optimally and I want to inspire to do the, others to do the same. When I looked at this job and I saw the type of organization this was, I saw that you were also aligned with that vision. You also optimize and you also look for clear, sophisticated solutions to problems. This is a team that I want to be a part of. It will make me very fulfilled because it seeps into every piece of my being. And I'm really, really excited to be here today. And I also like to do a few other things with my time. I like to spend time with my family. I like to play basketball. I even like to watch uh, Thursday Night Football every once in a while what my favorite movie is. And then you could go into all these things, but think about the impact that you will make on that individual because you're clear, you're confident, you're consistent. Like this, it changes everything. When you walk and talk to people in the airport at cocktail parties, I promise you, I did this today. And this is not something that I have been doing for a long time. I'm just now getting to the point where I've become confident with this very recently. So I'm not too far, far ahead of you when it comes to this. So I remember how it feels to be the other way. Somebody asked me at the conference, so what do you do? And I told them, I help people who feel lost in life get clear. You should see the thing, that, this man's face lit up. And he was like, tell me more. So I told him about the whole thing. And he was like, do you have, he's, he, I told him about the podcast. And he was like, oh, is your podcast on Spotify? He looked it up right there. And he started looking up episodes. And he was reading the episode titles. And he literally said, wow. This show is for me. This literally just happened a few hours ago. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm, I was literally just, I was like, oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> like, but this is the advantage you had. You want to learn how to get ahead of 99% of people? Get clear, get confident, get consistent. This is what we're building at Visionpreneur School. This is why I'm not starting with how you built the podcast. I want to have a podcast. Well, why? Well, you know, I have something to share and I want to inspire people and I want people to be them best, their best selves. Okay, but, but why you though? If you come to the table saying, hey, I realize that people want to build their best lives, but they're lacking clarity. In every single episode, I want to interview somebody who has gone through the same journey as my target audience who is this, this, and this. And we're going to show how they got clarity through their journey so that others would be inspired to do the same. Clear, confident, and you can show up consistently with that. That's how you start a banger podcast. That's how you start a banger YouTube channel. That's how you start your page, your blog, your business. Clear. This is the foundation. This is what uh, I, my mentor loves to call a meta skill. It makes all other skills easier. Okay, so that was all for the introduction. <laughs> I promise I'll get through the rest of the stuff really quickly. Think about that. What is confusion costing you? Think of all the scenarios I just had, and you have your own, where confusion has cost you something. Time. That's a huge one. Clarity gives you speed. But here's the thing, y'all, and I know you haven't heard about this clarity thing uh, recently. Multiple people have talked about, oh, you need to get clear. You need to get clear. You need to get clear. I heard it. I heard it. At, I heard it at the um, MMA uh, thing. Marketplace uh, Mandate Academy Live. I heard somebody say clear. I think Marcus talked about it. Oh, you need to get clear. But here's what bothers me in that in, in this industry. Everybody says you need to get clear. No one tells you how. How? How, Sway? You ain't got all the answers, man. Tell me how. And that's what I want to break down really quickly. We're going to get into this, into some more uh, more episodes here, more lives. I'm going to see how I'm going to do it because I'm going to be going live every day. So I might do it there, Visionpreneurs. I'm not sure. But either way, I'll be posting it in the community. So you'll get to benefit from it. Three Ds. And I'll get out your way. We go into some Q&A. 3D framework. Number one, discover your why. I'll go through these and I'll explain them. Number one, discover your why. Number two, document your story. Number three, develop your practice. Number one, discover your why. Back in 2022, 
um, I was going through this process really hard. I became obsessed with clarity because I was doing these podcast interviews. And this was after a hiatus, after I went on a TikTok binge and I started making TikToks and I went on a whole social media thing. And I came back because I realized, <laughs> I realized that I didn't want to continue doing that for the rest of my life. I was like, I feel like I'm putting my ladder on the wrong wall. So I had to re come back and I started really diving into the psychology, the sociology, the understanding of like, how do you get clear and purposeful in your life when you're trying to live a kingdom way, right? Not what the world is telling you to do. And I went, I found this book. I should have brought it. I found this book. It was called Find Your Why. There's a very popular book that is a cousin to it by Simon Sinek called Start With Why. And if you've ever been in an organization, you might have heard of this or you might have heard of it um, as just a leader or a visionary. Anyway, uh, but I believe Find Your Why is a, I mean, and this, if you guys want to get my book recommendations, Jayla knows this. I need to update it. I need to update it. But I have a whole Amazon bookstore that you can see all my top recommendations for things. And of course, in the classroom, in Visionpreneur School, there is the uh, ultimate resource guide and I have links for creators, books. Uh, channels, podcasts, all that in there that I recommend for different areas, spiritual development, professional development, content creation, all those different things. If you're not in Vision, per school, Vision Preneur School and you're watching this or listening to this, it's a community for individuals who want to make impact and income with their ideas, insights, and influence, but they want to get clear. You want to get inside. If you're not in there, I don't really know what you're doing. Get in there. Buildyourvisionpodcast.com forward slash community, or you could just go on the website and click community. But um, I did this exercise and it was a find your why exercise. I did it with my friend, Tom. And basically it is an exercise where you find the meaning behind your doing. Everything that you do is not random. Everything that you love is not random. What makes your baby leap is not random. What excites you, what makes you get into flow state is not random. When you are able to connect the dots, your past informs your present so that you can make more progress in your future. I promise you, I did this thing. It changed everything for me from that day. Finding the meaning behind your doing, discovering your why. You don't create a why. You don't search for a why. You don't, uh, you know, pull together a why. You reveal it. It's, it's been there. The, it's right under your nose. You just have to do the work to do it. I cannot get into that in this. I will explain that at another time. There is a find your why course in Visionpreneur School if you want to check that out. Number two, document your story. I always say life is like a TV show. You have a main character. That's you. Then you have different supporting characters that come in and out of the main character's life. And each season has a different tone to it but the plot and the premise stays the same a character wants something and they're trying their best to achieve it now there's different things the characters develop the characters change some die off some die off and come back but life is a lot like a tv show and when you recognize that you are living in a story his story your story becomes way more clear. And when you are able to actually document, this is another book that changed my life. It's called A Million Miles in a Thousand Years. It says, what type of story are you writing? And if it was able to be turned into a movie, would it be a good one? This happened when a gentleman named Donald Miller had a, wrote a memoir that was so good. It was a, it was a uh, and this is true. This is not made up. Um, it was a bestseller. And, some people contacted him wanting to make it into a movie and they started changing all these things in the film. And he was like, wait guys, what's, what's, this is not, this is a story. It's supposed to be about me. He said, well, Don, um, here's the thing. Your life's boring. We got to make it more exciting. And that was the thing that flipped the switch for him. And he went on to write all these different things called building a story brand and all these different elements of how understanding how to work as a story and a hero and a guy that once again, I can't get into all that, but it changes the way you see the world when you realize you're a character in a story and you can learn how to play your role well. 
And number three, develop your practice. This is where you learn how to contribute your work to the world consistently. Man was made to do three things, create, connect, and contribute. If any of those things are missing, we feel incomplete. Lots of us create and connect, but we don't contribute. This is what Seth Godin calls shipping your work, putting it out there, allowing it to be helpful to someone, saying, here, I made this for you. I hope it helps. And being okay with it possibly not working. This is a human thing that it's hard to explain. And I, I, I'm explaining it in layman terms because I don't know the, psych, the, psych, uh, the psychological words for it. Um, but this is a, it makes you feel complete. It's like, Hey, I'm doing a good work and I'm putting it out there to the world and doing that prolifically. And lots of times what happens with this, especially in the economy and the, in the age that we live in, lots of times those turn into businesses, those turn into nonprofits, those turn into books, those turn into podcasts, those turn into all types of things. When you ship your work, when you develop the practice of showing up to contribute. Discover your why, that gives you perspective. Document your story, that makes you productive. Develop your practice, that makes you prolific. Your perspective, that leads to clarity. Your productivity, that leads to confidence. Tell me you're not more confident when you know you're being productive. And your, your prolific nature, that leads, that's your consistency. We circle back to the clarity, confidence, and consistency. So if you want to make real progress, why you're not making real progress is you could be possibly not focusing on the right thing. I don't know whether you're focusing on purpose or mindset or finding the right software or tools or equipment or, or community or whatever it is. Clarity. This is the meta skill that will change everything for you and even when times get hard even when you feel like things aren't working but they're working on you you don't lose your north star there's so much incoming information in this world trying to pull you this way trying to pull you that way how do you stay focused that's another thing oh i need to develop my focus no you need to get clear that's how you stay focused and what we're doing here at vision Preneur school is we want to make clarity common clarity is rare right now that is not okay. There is a whole generation lost. And I want you to help me spread the word through this. I'm trying to get as many people in Visionpreneur School as possible. I will be sharing a roadmap with you guys soon on how I am planning for this to work out. Now, who knows what God's going to do? But I'm excited about what this is going to turn into. But what is confusion costing you? You want to make real progress? The answer is clarity.